recording as a question. Yay, we are. Okay. Good morning, everybody, sports fans. My name is Donald Herman, and welcome to a Zoom <laughs> session today. Um, what you will need for today's workout will be a pair of white dumbbells and a mat. <laughs> <laughs> this course in the background. But uh, so what we, before the moment, we're going to have a workout that consists of we have four triceps, so four sets, groupings of three exercises per set. I'll explain more in detail in a minute. Okay, we're going to perform each exercise for 45 seconds. We'll have 15 seconds off. Then we'll go to the next exercise. So three exercises, 45 seconds each, 15 off for three rounds. So each grouping is going to be done for nine minutes. The whole workout entirely from now until we completely finish will be roughly 45 minutes. And I do have a tip of the day at the end, which involves calories. Plant the seed flare. But before we get going, let's go ahead and start doing a warm up. Okay? So 20 jumping jacks. Ready and go. All right, let's go 10 side to elbows, 10 each side. You're gonna to need to play your own music as well. And in 10 on the side. I just can't figure out how to play music and do Zoom at the same time. The music never comes out good. And cross it 10 times. Side. And straight ahead for ten. Start off kind of a yucky day, but it looks like it's going to be a nice one. Ten gentlemen bows. Put your hamstring in your glutes. By the way, this is called a dynamic warm up, which means you're warming your body and stretching your muscles out by through movement. As opposed to the old fashioned way, it's called static stretch, which is what you want to do at the end of the workout. All right, 10 forward arm circles. And 10 back. Okay, inchworm. Keep your feet still, walk your hands out, push up position, five push ups, walk your hands back, stand up, repeat, four, back, three, two, one. Ready and go. So five push-ups. Walk your hands back to your feet. Go back out, four push-ups. If you need to do push-ups for your knees, go right ahead. Three. Okay, so let me show you what it looks at, what it looks like to, if you can see this to the sun. This is what we're doing for today. So we're gonna start here. These three exercises, I'll show them. Each of these segments takes nine minutes. Okay, so first set of exercises with your dumbbells. Bend over row, and you know, hands up to your armpits. From a side view, notice the angle and position of my back. It's not here. Chest stick it out. So 10, I'm in 45 seconds of those. 
15 seconds of rest. Then tricep kickback, just hinging at the elbow. Once again, notice the position of my back. I'm not rounded. Put the chest forward. Then we're going to go on your mat and do a side plank. Now you can do whatever you want on your side. Feet stacked, feet staggered, hips up, hands up. Have fun, okay? Let me get my clock going. We'll jump into this. Try to set this up a little bit better. Go full screen if I can figure that out. All right. Okay. You may hear the beeping. At three seconds left in the routine, it starts to beep. And then at the near, at the end of the 15 seconds, with three seconds left, it will start to beep. This will be our time. So 45 seconds, grab your dumbbells. First thing we're gonna do, bent over rows. Come on. And go. Take your time on these. Try to get, take your time, but also use some good form. You're trying to get as many reps in as you can with good form. If you start to lose form, stop, rest, recover, and go again. The fourth routine is all cardio stuff, just to give you something to look forward to. No weights, but body weight. All cardio to last routine. Weights down. So once again, tricep kickback. Engine just at the elbow. normally use 15 pounds, either 20 pounders. So I'm gonna fatigue a little earlier than usual. Like right now. <laughs> Check them out. You don't have to go heavy on this kind of workout. To see the benefits and feel it. Round one, two more. Oh, I'm sorry, now we're going side plank. Left side. Do whatever you want to do here. You can rotate it, you can hips up, you can bring your knees in, you, know, you can just sit here. We have three rounds, so if you want to do something different each round, do that. Sunshine. Hope you listen to some good music. Helps with the workout. Yay. One round down, two more to go. Back to the bent over row. I'm gonna put this over here in the shade. And go. Hey, Mimi. One of our dogs here. We don't just get family to visit, we get their dogs too. Just relax your neck and head. Focus on using just your arms. Tight to your sides. 15 seconds. Five. Okay. 
You know, uh, tricep kickback. Let's position my back. Feet are close together. <sighs> Fatiguing. This works your triceps, called tricep kickback. Bit over rows, focus on your biceps. 10 seconds. Okay. Side plank. We'll do something different this time. Go ahead or whatever. Same side though, left side. Or right under your shoulder. Stagger your feet or stack them, up to you. Stacking is harder. Twenty seconds. Well, close. Ten seconds. Two down, one to go. Then over up. It'll be a challenge. Ever sacrifice form. Here we hear some dogs. Ten seconds. Tricep kick back. If you don't have dumbbells, that's fine. You can do them without dumbbells. Soup cans. Or even just Really squeeze if you're doing it without dumbbells. Fifteen. Set us left side plank. Rotate it. Ooh. Kind of an even backyard here. Okay. 20 seconds. Ooh. So one down, three to go. 
Oh, this is a man. Reprogram a phone timer. Oh, wait. Next up. This one. Reuters, Arnold's right side plank. So whatever you did on your left side plank, you can do the same thing on your right. But groiners, these get tough. You want to start off in a push-up position. On or, on or off the bed, doesn't matter. Feet back. So what you're going to do, you're going to leave everything alone except for your feet. You're going to just hop your feet to each side of your hand. And back. That's a groiner. Then you're going to pick up your dumbbells. Okay, palms facing in. Focus on it's a bicep move. You want to stagger your feet. That's fine. And working on full range of motion. Notice I'm not stopping here. Full range of motion. And then right side plank. Okay, that's the three move combination for this set. Wires. And go. Take your time on these. These get tough. Eyes down. The more flexible you are, the further, the closer to your hands, your feet can get. 20 seconds. Try not to swing them. Control up and down. Keep the elbows in flight. To your side. So a side view. All the way back out. Eighteen seconds. Right side plank. Whatever you want to do. I'll just hold it the first routine. Now I'm starting to warm up a little bit. <laughs> well, actually. Got some bugs around. Looks like the pollen is trying to settle down a little bit. You can stagger your feet, stagger them, whichever way, or stack them. You can hold on like that. Okay, so back to goiners. One round down, two to go. You can hold the dumbbells in your hands if you want. So, I just have my hands on the dumbbells. I don't think you can see it in the video. But instead of my hands being on the ground, I'm just holding a dumbbell in each hand. I may want to get my feet closer by doing it this way. 10 seconds. Ooh. Wow. 
lot of shoulder work here. Arnold. I mean a hammer curl, not Arnold's. I put Arnold's, sorry. I meant to put hammer curl, I just realized, oh, oh, you know what? Yeah, do these. I screwed up. I'll correct it in the next round. The next pair. Fifteen. I can't read my own writing. All right, back to the side plank. Whatever you want. I'm shaking. Working the entire core here. Especially your obliques. On the side that you want. Back to boilers. I'm gonna hold my hands on the dumbbells again. This is a full body using the shoulders, the hip flexors, the core. This. Oh One more round of hammer curls. So I have you try not to let momentum do it. Use your arms. Fifteen. Okay, last round of side plank. Mix it up, whatever you want. Woo. I'll be back here, I'll stay late, stay balanced. Mix it up. Whatever you feel like doing or just sit here. Your choice. Not done yet. Way. 
fix my clock. So, here was where the mix-up came. We were supposed to be doing Arnold's. We were supposed to be doing Arnold's here. Instead, we did hammer curls. Should have done. So now, we're really going to work our shoulders. But now we're going to do thrusters, Arnold's, plank march. Then we'll be back on schedule. So, thrusters, with or without dumbbells, is a squat, so overhead press. Squat, overhead press. Okay, squatting, make sure you keep your knees at or behind your toes. Keep your butt out. It's not this. Okay, no position my back again. It's not here either. Okay. Overhead press. It's going to get tough because the Arnold's are just that. Starting with your palms in, overhead, you turn them out. So in, out, in, out. So we're going to do six minutes of shoulder work and then actually all nine because you have to use your shoulders to hold the plank position. Plank march. On or off your mat. Push up position. One foot out at a time. You can do this from your low plank position as well, from your forearms. Your choice. Okay, get ready for your shoulders to burn. Oof. My fault. All right, thrusters. Turn my hands facing each other when I go up. Palms facing each other as they go up. Quarter turn. Another full body move. And all your big, big major muscles here. Uh, the glutes, shoulders, and your core. Stabilizing. them down and rest you're gonna need it now we're doing just the top part Arnold's and up you can give a little dip if you want a little it's gonna be hard because of my screw up So you should have been doing hammer curls here so your shoulders have a rest. But nope. Ten seconds. hard for three rounds. Plank march. High planks, low planks, your call. Relax your head, look down. Keep your back flat, suck your belly button in. Yep, shoulders. <laughs> Ten seconds. Okay. We one down, two more to go. This will be the last grouping of weights. That's the good news. Busters.
Ooh. All the pounds get heavy. Fast. You lose form, rest. Let your muscles recover a little bit, then resume. Don't let your eyes be bigger than your muscles. Five seconds. Yeah. Arnold. Once again, do you know why these are called Arnold's? Trivia question of the day. After Arnold Schwarzenegger, one of his favorite moves for his shoulder development that he used. Okay. Okay. Now you know why I said light dumbbells. There you go. This is sort of fashioned after my boot camp. Sort of. Same kind of format. Same time frame, should I say. Use the time. Three more minutes of this routine. One more round. Cue the burn. Clusters. Ugly. No one wants to hear you. Ten seconds. Look at it, throw burpees in. Last move with weights for the day. Arnold. You can do more than me, feel free. Actually, I hope you can. Uh, 20 seconds. Ah, dumbbells away. Mike March.
25 seconds. Ooh, shoulders. All right, so now we have uh, a cardio set, which leads me, if, when you're doing your workout, if you're doing both strength and cardio, which do you do first? You always want to do your strength routine workout prior to doing cardio because your cardio is going to make it if you go too hard to where you can't use the weight that you want to use two different types of workouts so if you're going to do both on the same day do your strength program first followed with your cardio which is kind of what we're doing here we're doing the strength moves here now here's our here's our cardio phase these three moves okay combo jacks jump twists and squat jumps. So combo jack. Feet go out, arms come to the side. So it looks here and front. Out, front, side, front. Okay. Lunge, jump, twist, feet apart. Right opposite hand, opposite foot. I'm oh, sorry. Feet together, out. Feet together, turn. Feet together, turn. Okay. Squat, jump. Squat, jump. Squat. Try to get some air. Try to get more than just a credit card between the ground and your foot. Okay. So this will be our, our heart rate cardio nine minute routine. And then we're done for the tip of the day. So here we go. Combo jacks. Have to go shoulder height in front. Over your head, shoulder height. Okay, find a good soft spot here. Level ground. Nope. Uh, so now, just the feet together, squat, jump to us. Ten seconds. Touch your foot. Squat down also. Just bend over. Okay. All right. Squat. Jump. Hmm. This is a plyometric, means power, power move, explosive power. If you want to bring your knees to your chest, go right ahead. That's a much tougher move. This one, we'll do that. Oof, good luck. I don't. <laughs> Fifteen. Ooh. 
right. One down, two more. Combo jacks. So side view. Oh, I just hope this is recording. <laughs> I tried one yesterday. For some reason, did not record. Ten seconds. <laughs> Jump twist. Start off with the side view. Once again, notice the position of my back. I'm not bending over. Bend your knees. Ten seconds. Five. Okay. Squat. Jump. Oh boy. Old man can't jump. Nothing like I used to, that's for sure. 20 seconds. Working your glutes, your quads, big muscles. That's where you can burn the most calories. All right, final three minutes of the workout. Really push yourself here. Combo jacks. seconds. Ten seconds. Right. Jump twist. Two more minutes. Really squat it down. Bend your knees, not your back. Not your waist. Bend the knees, not your waist. Ten seconds.
That's one. <sighs> Squat jumps. Come on. 45 seconds of work left. That's it. Man softly. Turn your toes before your heels touch. Balls your feet, then your heels. Absorb the fall. 20 seconds. Ten. Five. Okay. Oh. So, while I'm trying to catch my breath, huh. okay. Nice job. So now you do your own little stretching routine. This is when you do your static stretching, which is the old fashioned go down, hold for extended period of seconds. No bouncing, okay? Because what you've done, you've shortened your muscle heads through the exercise. Now you want to elongate them again. All right, but tip of the day. How many calories do you need per day? Well, it all depends on what you're trying to accomplish. So here's what you have. There are 3,500 calories in one pound, okay? So how do you lose weight? How do you gain weight? How do you maintain? Take what your current body weight is, multiply that by the number 15. That gives you a number. That number is how many calories you're bringing in to your body and burning to sustain your current weight. So your current body weight times 15 gives you the number of calories. If you want to lose weight, if you simply eliminate 500 calories per day, over a seven day period, that's 3,500 calories or one pound. One to two pound weight loss per week is what is the recommended weight loss to where you can actually sustain it and keep it off, okay? If you wanna gain weight, add 500 calories per day to what that number is. Over a week's time, you'll gain a pound, okay? So we'll talk about metabolism and muscle, that sort of stuff another time, but, uh, you can also, in order to lose weight, you don't just have to drop 500 calories. If you start exercising, those calories count as well. So you could even bring in the same number of calories that you're currently bringing in now, but decrease or should I say burn 500 more calories per day by exercising, that will equal that one pound a week. So but if you combine the two, cutting back the amount of food you bring into your mouth, and exercising, you'll lose weight faster, okay? So, there you go, tip of the day. All right, well, thank you for joining in. Hope this is beneficial for you all. Until next time, I'm Donald Herman. Thank you very much.